Hi, this is Marcus Bell Winston from 99.1 Church. As you know, we launched in September of 2011. Excited to announce that since we sent out our small core team down to Northeast Austin area, we've already almost tripled in size. So that's been a huge blessing and to seeing the excitement, the new faces we continue to see each week come in. And so we are thankful. We know it's only possible by the Spirit of God and by your prayers and your support that you sent us out with. And so we are grateful and thankful for that. Hi, I'm Josh Cagle, the lead pastor of Summit Community Church, who you guys planted just a couple years ago. I'll tell you, the last year has been real exciting at Summit. We've seen some real tough times and some real exciting times. And um, over the last few months, we've been able to see, um, even numerically, see our, our numbers go up higher than they've been before and new families coming in and plugging in. And, and then spiritually, we've seen um, a handful of families that I remember Amber and I, when we first moved to town, praying for and, and praying that one day that they would uh, give their life to Christ. And to see that happen over the last few months, to see our, now some of our neighbors who are on our prayer list bringing people has just been an amazing thing. I'd like to celebrate Mike Moore. Uh, Y'all remember hearing about him back in March. Uh, one of the guys I'd met at the YMCA and just really we're doing some life on life discipleship with and just understanding that through the whole process we were able to see Mike trust in Christ. And since that, Mike has continued to uh, be a part of my life and want this discipleship time and coming to know the Lord and get to know him deeper and deeper. And so we've been meeting for the last six or seven months and just seeing some of the questions that he's been asking and seeing this a transformation in his life and wanting to share others about Christ has been just a true blessing and to see him on Sunday mornings with his Bible and just ready to go and it's just been really encouraging to those around us to truly see someone who was once in darkness now come to light and someone who's really trying to be a, uh, a true disciple for him as well so that's been a huge blessing. I just think about our neighbor a few doors over who when we first met her um, really held on to universalism and to see her go from that standpoint to now trusting Christ. That has just been an amazing thing that we know God placed us in the house we're in, in the area we're in, and to see confirmation of that by some of our neighbors now at Summit, and not just at Summit, but have come to faith. I'll tell you, that's just a powerful thing to have that confirmation from God and to see this lady's life change and what God's done in her life has just been a, a real privilege for my wife and I. One of the things I've learned through this whole process of the year now of being in the residency and now launching four months in is really just to totally trust and rely on God. He truly is faithful. We continue to see new faces, answered prayers, and it's just been awesome uh, just to see how God's provided, not only through the good times, but also in the hard times. Uh, James tells us in chapter one to count it all joy. And so that has been the biggest um, kind of uh, scripture of our life right now, me and my wife, is just counting all joy. Uh, experiencing the bad times and the good times, but knowing that Christ is our rock and uh, we are defined by who He says we are. For Summit and for my wife and I, this last year has been one of the most stretching years we've experienced and really having to trust God and being a provider. And uh, we have seen God provide for our church and we have seen God provide for our family in ways I don't think we would have ever seen had we not taken the step to plant a church. And I'll tell you, my faith has grown tremendously this last year as well as the faith of my family. And just for that purpose alone, we are just so grateful for what God's done this last year. Yes, I'd like to personally thank Hill Country Round Rock and all those who have supported us financially and through your prayers. It's been a huge blessing and we truly encouraged by those things that you have done for us and just pray that you continue to pray for us and continue to remember us uh, as we go forth in 2012. Yeah, I know we've been gone for a couple of years and um, haven't been able to get back in touch much, but I just want to thank those of you who have continued to pray for us over the last couple of years. Uh, we've needed those prayers, we covet those prayers, and, and our ask would be that you would continue to pray for us as we are still uh, just trying to figure things out as a, as a young church in the east side of Round Rock. Well, one thing I would share with those who are thinking about going to the next church plant that may be coming out of Hill Country Round Rock is to definitely consider it, consider it pray about it. Uh, seek the Lord and what He would have you to do. Uh, it's definitely not an easy road to take, but it definitely is a road that is blessed. Well, I know being a Hill Country Church that one of the priorities for all of us in the association is church planning. And I know that's been a top priority for Keith and the elders at Hill Country Round Rock. And I know they're going to continue to do that. And so some of you are sitting there right now and that you've kind of watched myself and Marcus come through and go out and each time maybe thought God was calling you to go with that that core team and, and maybe pass by it. And I would just encourage you, if you want to see yourself stretched spiritually in a way you've never been stretched before, in a way where you really have to put the kingdom before you, like John the Baptist said, I must decrease so that he must increase. Um, that's what it's all about, the kingdom. And that the, taking this step and getting out of the comfort of a church that's been established and really reaching out and, and dropping all of our own personal agendas and allowing God to stretch us, 
there's no better way to do that than church plant. And so if God, if you felt that tug, I just encourage you to continue praying about that. You never know, maybe you'll be on the next church plant team coming out of Hill Country Rat Rock.